All righty, welcome everyone uh, to the first webinar of our real life demonstration of classic interface of HyperMesh versus the new interface of HyperMesh. Uh, what I have here on my screen um, is what you get as soon as you click on the icons of each of these two tools within your start menu. Okay, on the left hand side, you will notice the familiar, the warm, and the cozy classic interface. I will be using 2019 throughout this series because that's a very common. Uh, probably the most common uh, legacy version that I end up seeing. And to be honest, there's not much different between this version and a lot of the older ones. And I will also be using the newest release, 2022.3, which came out very end of April, uh, on the right-hand side. So <clears throat> uh, I'd like to point out just, you know, uh, in this first webinar, at least the, the start, the beginning of, of what has changed. And uh, most things within the classic, you would usually get this user profile. If you don't get this user profile, you can always come up to Jerry here in his fancy green shirt and click on him and say, load user profiles. And uh, you would get this to change the user profile. Okay. What you get in the newest version of Hyperworks is you get this kind of uh, almost like a splash screen, like a pre-startup. Okay. Uh, and within this window here, you will have recent models that you've worked on. That's kind of nice. You can directly click on these and it will open up you know, whether it was post-processing or whatever you were working on originally, the, that model, it comes up. Uh, there's also a nice little getting started tab where you can find some fun videos. Uh, not as fun as what we do here, but, you know, there's not really too much more fun uh, than this. You could also just create a new session and pick what you'd like here with the profile for your solver. Uh, and then the, the start in directory that you'd like as well. You can also say, don't show this again. I know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to create a default session here. Okay, and I will click on, uh, I'll just pick the OptiStruct Solver. So that's what I have here, and hit OK. okay. All right, so uh, the, what we're really talking about in our first day, our first class, is the, uh, just how to bring a model in, right? So <clears throat> while HyperWorks on the right-hand side uh, gets booted up over here, I will just go ahead and walk through how you get a model in on classic i think we all know this obviously if you're transitioning from classic to the new interface you know uh, we had the option to open open was always looking for a hypermesh binary file it was very specific to a hypermesh binary file uh, uh, meaning that if you were to go and find a cat part or a step or an igis file open doesn't work right so uh, you'd have to go import this idea of importing geometry which i will do here uh, and then you get this I have a fun looking browser on the left hand side. I, I don't know what to call this. Uh, you'd go in and find your geometry. I'm just going to use the step file here. Options to import, and then you would say import. Okay. Uh, and it comes in. Bam. Okay. Simple model, nothing to, to worry about. Um, but this was kind of the old way, right? And then once you're done with this, you'd say, all right, thank you very much. Go back to my model browser. All right. So how do we get a, a, a model over here on the, the right-hand side? Uh, the right-hand side, the new version, we can go File. And now we have the option to just open, right? So we can open a HyperMesh file, we can open CAD, we can open Geometry, Solver Deck, whatever it is. We can just open these things. You don't have to differentiate between open and import. Um, and now import is kind of this process to append. So if you did bring in one part, then you want to import another and import another. That's really the what import means, uh, but you can open up a CAD file. So I can just go open geometry, and get the same fun little thing here. Uh, file path, bam, and the step file. Okay, uh, all of your options then come up secondarily, right? So once we know this is a step file, we say, well, what you assembly, topology, you know, all of the same same stuff. Actually, more stuff here uh, is available. So I'll just hit open, and then you'll be <clears throat> well on your way. Okay, same model, save everything. Then your model browser's here. They're going to look almost identical. More and more entities, more and more things are coming to the model browser in the newer versions, like geometry, elements, nodes. You know, everything will kind of start to be listed instead of, uh, well, not everything. Okay. The other way to do this, which I think is more fun, and I'm always looking for the most fun way to do anything, is just drag and drop. Okay. So you will just have a, a file explorer open, like you probably do in, in your life. Uh, and this could be a HyperMesh file. This could be a BDF. 
you know, a bulk data file, a mesh file, any any file type that we can we can go and, and import and bring in, uh, you can just drag and drop that in. And it's gonna we're gonna recognize, you know, we're gonna be a a, a smart, intelligent software and recognize the extension. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag and drop the step file in. It's gonna say, oh, look at all the, the stuff. I've recognized it, it's geometry, you can put in a new model or uh, drag and drop, you can also merge, so you have the import option with drag and drop. So if you already had something in here, bring, bring in more stuff. I'm going to hit OK, and then the same options for what do you want, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, So drag and drop is probably the preferred way to do this, right? So just drag and drop, multiple BDFs, multiple includes, whatever it is, drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop. Okay. Uh, perfect. A few other things. So uh, we pointed out, you know, uh, Jerry, I think, with the green shirt, you know, you can change user profiles. Our user profiles are now, let's say you set it or you weren't paying attention when you just said open. That's perfectly fine. Uh, all of our user profiles now are under file solver interface. Okay, so you can come and change your solver interface. For Arrow, we use a lot of Nastran. So I'll just swap over to Nastran. Okay, nothing really changes about the GUI other than, you know, your cards and boundary, uh, your cards and uh, well, really, that's all the changes for your cards. <clears throat> um, but that would be the, your equivalent here. A few other things that are saved in here. Uh, obviously, saving your model, exporting your model. Okay. Um, the screen capture tool is in here. So within uh, classic HyperWorks, you had these fun little icons. You know, capture the, the with the panels, out the panels, bot, you know, all the things that you could capture. Um, that's down in this kind of screen capture. And I really like this advanced capture tool. I think this is fun. Uh, the advanced capture tool is just a little bitty tool that lives here that will allow you to kind of do these same things. All of the preferences for the advanced capture are within this. So you want the mouse, what kind of uh, directly get an MP4 out. I think that's nice. That's been a long time coming. Uh, pictures, recording, all the different types of things you can do. It's just floating here. Um, you know, open that up, close it as you need it. And then finally, 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 what we'll finally cover um, is preferences, right? So uh, like any kind of tool um, these days, well, the preferences are going to be all in one spot. So how you want your model, uh, your your graphic interface to look, do you want dark theme, you want light theme, uh, you want to change the colors of things, the appearances of things, the uh, how much, you know, refinement and the graphics, basically everything you would ever want in a modern software you can now do, including mouse controls, right? So you can swap these mouse controls to legacy if you'd like, or put in your own mouse controls that suit your uh, particular finger style. Okay. Um, so all of these are here. Um, just kind of keep in mind, remember where all these were over in the old interface, uh, usually under preferences, and then they were all kind of split out, right? So you'd have to go to these, and these all each open their own, you know, little um, uh, 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 panel at the bottom to, to show all this stuff. Uh, yeah, just, I mean, it looks, yeah, it's just squished right now. Um, all right. And then the, the really last thing that we want to cover here, um, that we do with any software that we, we try to, um, do is, you know, there's always this question of, well, is hype, are, are you ready to do something? Right. So did, uh, did you freeze up? Did you die? Are you unresponsive? Are you responsive? You know, like checking on your friend at a party, just got to make sure that, your model is awake, right? So remember in the classic interface, what you would normally do to make sure that nothing uh, bad happened is you just kind of, you know, rotate your model, zoom in, zoom out, just kind of make sure, okay, yeah, check in frame rates, you know, you start to start gaming, right? So um, remember, this always had to be done with control and there was no way to change this. Okay, so having control on your keyboard and then middle mouse, scrolly wheel, right click would, would move your model. In the new interface, that is not the case, okay? I do not have to uh, have control held down. If you were looking at my finger cam right now, I haven't turned it on, um, but uh, it would show you that I'm only using my mouse. I'm not using any fingers on my keyboard. Um, so scrolly wheel, if you press that down, will tumble. Um, and it also tumbles uh, towards the nearest spot where your mouse, your cursor is. So, you know, it's kind of this dynamic center of rotation is what we call it. Um, so zoomy wheel and right click so uh, model manipulation is, is a little bit easier but that's kind of just to make sure is is hyperworks ready is hypermesh ready uh then let's get started but before we get started that's where today's class ends um 
again, we'll, we'll break these off into bite-sized chunks. Um, I hope this is, uh, is fun. And the next time, I believe we're doing selection. So how to click and pick on stuff, which is important. All right. With that, uh, I will see you next time. Thanks, and have a good rest of the day.